Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Darren. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Sunday, March 22nd. I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody's having is having a good day or you had a good day. I'm doing fine. And guys too, please don't forget to um, click the like button, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you know as soon as I put a new video out. And um, thanks a lot if you did. And um, it is a beautiful gorgeous day here today it is almost 50 degrees out and um yeah so um what am i up to here right now um i am gonna bed these guys here um they need to be bedded again our plan is this week here we're gonna have the vet come i think it's this week the vet's gonna come we gotta vaccinate these calves and work them and get them moved out of here because they are getting kind of big for in here so but for now i gotta bed them because well they need bedding and uh, also today I'm gonna try and do a live stream of starting up the giant A obviously you will have already known that by the time you're watching this video but I'm gonna film it anyways with my GoPro camera here so you guys will probably see uh, see yourselves twice so and I just wanna kind of want to have it I don't know I just think it's kind of neat to do it so anyway I gotta bed these guys here quick and then I'm gonna go with the feeding Try to get done here. We're gonna to try to do it around four or five o'clock. I can't be, obviously, it's hard to say exact time because you can't always control the outcome of everything that happens in the farm because sometimes things happen, maybe a cow calving and they're gonna have trouble calving and you gotta go help. Something breaks down unpredictably. It's hard to say, so that's why I'm shooting for <laughs> an hour. But anyway, I gotta get these guys bedded. And um, two, you probably saw my youngest brother in the beginning of the video. He's home helping out, so uh, hopefully it will be a productive week here. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get to work. Oh yeah, there's that black cat. She's a wild cat, but she always comes up to the barn for milk all the time, but she pretty much just lives out in this general area right here. She's a good hunting cat. She's actually pregnant right now. So she's gonna have some more kittens, but uh, she just loves it out here. Out here, hanging out by the, the hay shed and everything. So anyways, um, I was just saw I got done bed, so I'm gonna get going here with the feeding chores so I can get ready to do that live stream later. And uh, I'll try to hurry and get done. Okay guys, that's what I mean about sometimes doing videos, trying to do a live stream and unpredictable things happening. For some reason, the spout popped off and so it's not blowing it in the hole there. Yes. Uh, well, I'm gonna quick try to get this remedied and uh, I'm gonna still try to do my live stream here yet, but that's what I mean. Unpredictable things happen. I think it's just a bolt. It came through so yep that's why i can say <laughs> that's what it is sometimes but i'm still gonna try for it that's why i can't narrow it down to one specific time things like this can happen okay i'm in the repair shed in here and uh i'm gonna try to find some bolts a bolt i gotta find a 3 8 bolt here it's short enough ah, i never have anything that's short it's always out in the other shed. Yeah, I'll have to go out there. Dang it. Hmm. Yeah. I'd have to go out to the other shed. That's the problem. You got two sheds or you got two of everything. Well, you don't quite have two of everything, I mean, but. Oh well. 
Okay, I'm out here in the other shed. I'm going to find the right... And the right length bolt. Three eighths bolt. Is it too long? Is it too short? Is there are seven sixteenths bolts. It's almost too long. There we go. I'm going to get two of them because I might need... There. I think that's going to do it. Uh, I'm going to get some more washers. Probably going to have to double nut it. Looks like I got what I need out here. Okay guys, we got um, a new bolt in there and that one was full good. But uh, that's what happened, I had to put some bigger washers in there because it's getting, it was getting more. So, uh, yeah. This spot needs to get replaced. That's getting bad, I, unless I could get a, you know, yeah, this is the liner that they give you. Don't, they don't make the liner. That it covers this part of it, unfortunately. And this one here, that's gonna eat up, eating out too, eating up. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe we should tighten that just a little bit more yet. Yeah, it's gonna be time to replace the spout. We replaced it like, I don't know, five, six years ago or something like that. So, it's uh, seen its better days, but uh, yeah. And there's some pigeons up there flying around. Hopefully they're not gonna poop on me. Uh, you pigeons, get out of here. I know where you're coming in. Yeah. <laughs> I might get some bird canoochie in my head here pretty soon, but basically it's fixed. Well, she's uh, coming out of there good now. Really, really pouring out. That spout ain't gonna go anywhere now. So you guys can see it from two perspectives here. So, so you're gonna see yourselves again. So, and uh, out this morning. So I don't know. I think they just kind of. Yeah. My other brother, he came home. That thing ran really good, didn't it? Um, but I'm gonna have to fix this. I gotta fix that wire there. There's too much corrosion in there. I gotta fix that, that's my problem. But it ran good. Uh, someday I'm gonna take and get the engine oil changed in here too. And probably should change the transmission oil. I should get that leak fixed someday. But anyways, I gotta go back. And I gotta go, oops, I gotta go back and finish fixing the, fixing the silo. And uh, I did drain the carburetor in that thing too, so it's drained. So there's no more gas in there, so I'm gonna do that from now on, drain that carburetor. So I gotta get back to the silo loader and get that fixed and grab a bite to eat. And uh, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I haven't even had anything to eat yet because, well, <laughs> the welder guy, he brought this back today. He was nice enough to bring it back for us. So, uh, yeah, I apologize. I didn't get that on camera, but, um, anyways, 
yeah he just brought that back and he got the stalls done for us um yeah the only mistake that he did make when he did these is he um i can't get it here he put the there's a hole right there and then he put another hole right there and um because we got a pile of anchors into the cement and they'll, they'll kind of this one will come down and that one they'll hit each other he should have put them off center here a little bit but he uh he goes they'll have to just drive them in at an angle no we're but yeah he admitted he made a mistake doing that but other than that I mean, he did it he did a, he did a pretty good job of welding them and he got the end gate the slop gate all fixed up we just got a I think what we're going to do is he told us about spraying some bed liner stuff on there. You get that in an auto parts store. So he said rough it up and then spray paint that on there and on the back. So um, he used, what was it, 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths steel on here, he said. So. so that's the thickness of the steel for that. So yeah. So now we just got to get that thing in the front done. And then we could start using the spreader again. Um, the back, I oh, mean, this thing has got, you could just see how much, how much rust. These things are rusted on. Eventually we're probably gonna have to replace this thing, but uh, by that time, by that time this spreader will be shot probably. If we get, if we get another five years out of the spreader, now five six years will probably be lucky but heck it's not too bad though i mean the sides are still fairly good yet so yeah so anyways i gotta grab a bite to eat and uh i don't know i'll probably get back with you later Good morning, guys. Morning, Cam. What are you guys doing today? Oh, hey, good morning, guys. How you doing today? Um, no, let's do this again. Oh, hey, good morning, everyone. It is a brand new day today. Today is, who today is Monday, March 23rd. And the world is still turning. I guess it must be turning because the sun came up. <laughs> The sun didn't come up, that means the world wasn't turning. So, I hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm doing fine. Um, let's get my stuff here and major it out here this morning. And, uh, what is on the agenda for today? Well, today is a very special day where we go and we're going to go get that, uh, that new piece of equipment that we bought last week on that online auction. So, yeah, so you'll be get and go see that so we're gonna go and get that here we're gonna try to leave sometime here early this afternoon go get it it is north of Morris Minnesota so I don't know we just want to kind of get it well we need to get it because um, we don't know if they're gonna shut down the state lines or something who knows with this uh, coronavirus outbreak if things get bad enough they might shut the state lines down I don't know. I don't want a chance, and so we want to get that because, you know, that piece of equipment that we need, or that we got, excuse me, that piece of equipment that we bought, we do need. And you'll find out what it is here, guys. But yeah, we're going to do that. And um, another thing here we got to do too is I got to grind a batch of feed for the calves today. So, um, but kind of cloudy today, a little bit dreary, but that's not going to dampen our hopes. I'm getting a piece of equipment anyway, so yeah. So guys, um yeah, you'll just have to stay watching and maybe some of you will fast forward through this video to find out what it is that we bought, but 
but don't do that. I know you're tempted to fast forward and find out, but uh, <laughs> so we'll see how things go. We gotta go milk the cows and hurry up and boogie on over there to that farm site and get that piece of equipment. Hey cats, you happy? They're happy. take this along just in case we need it on the trip so we are gonna bring we are gonna bring a floor jack along but you just never know what you're gonna need you know it's about an hour drive but uh you know, like I say, never know. The good thing about going down to get that thing right now is because of this coronavirus thing, is not, not gonna be a lot of traffic on the road. So, but what we're gonna do is, I am, my, well, both my brothers, my, young, um, my one brother that came back from um, the cities, he's gonna come and He's gonna ride along with my brother. What I'm gonna do is leave probably about 20, 30 minutes after they leave. That way I can stay home and get some more stuff done because, and uh, obviously with that Donahue trailer, you can only, you can't go 60 miles an hour down the road with it, which is the speed limit over in Minnesota, on the state highway. So that way I'll just drive myself down there and I'll, uh, I can go 60. I'll help them load up the piece of equipment and then uh, I'll come back and uh, that way I can drive back 60 miles an hour. So that's the plan is I'm gonna leave a little bit after they leave and then as soon as they get the piece of equipment loaded up, then I am going to uh, head right back home to keep working because I got a guy to batch feed. And, well, plus I gotta keep working at the feeding chores here too. But main thing, we're gonna get this jack uh, yeah, just never know if you have trouble, like a flat tire or something. Okay, um, I think I got everything on that trailer. Um, I got the jack, I put some extra blocks in there, we bought some penetrating oil along, and yeah, it seems like when you go on a trip like this, you can never have enough things to bring along. I mean, you even gotta bring along a kitchen sink sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't wanna have any, I wanna have, we wanna have enough stuff in case we have an emergency or something goes wrong or whatever, just to make it easier because um, I don't know how it's all gonna go when we get that piece of equipment, getting it on that Donahue trailer. Um, you guys will see when we get there. So I'm gonna work out a little feeding here and then they're gonna take off and leave here in a little bit. And then they're gonna call me when they get about 20, 30 minutes down the road. Then I'm gonna take off. We'll meet them at the, the place. Okay, everybody, as you can see, we are on the road, or I'm on the road anyways. Uh, we're heading over to the uh, place where we're gonna get the piece of equipment here and just go on to the little small town of Big Stone. So, um, I'll be there in, I don't know, hopefully less, hopefully less than an hour. And like I said earlier, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of traffic on the road here. So we're just ready to cross over into Minnesota. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you when we get to the, uh, to the, 
the farm site where we're going to get the piece of equipment. Well, we're here finally at the place. There, there you guys are. You found me. What do you guys think? You think this is gonna make it home? That's what we're trying to do here right now. We're trying to make sure we get it all bolted down good here. Strapped down and hopefully it's not gonna roll off, but I think it's gonna be fine. So I think I'm gonna head back and those guys, Pat's gonna take it. And my brother Steve are gonna head back and take this home and I'm gonna go back home and work at chores here so I'll see you guys when I get back home. Okay, you can see that I am back home. I'm getting back to the feeding chores. And so, obviously it was a little fast for me getting home because I didn't have to pull anything. Um, my brother, my brothers, they're almost literally getting close to getting back. They've been keeping me updated on the way back just to make sure that, you know, just let me know that everything's going okay with the, uh, all the trailer. So, at least that's uh, going good closer they get to home the better so they'll be home and then I don't know we're probably gonna I don't know not today but someday here we're gonna take it oh well we might do it yet today if we get enough time we'll see maybe we'll power wash it off I don't know maybe we can get, we'll get it the power wash off my brother can do it because it is pretty nice out right now sun is shining this morning it didn't look very good but it doesn't look too bad now but, Let's see here what happens. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to grind hay for the dry cows again. Oh, I have to do that thing all over again. Huh. Oh, I gotta grind feed with the calves here too. I almost forgot that. Well, I better keep them moving. Here they come. Here they come. They're back. In one piece. Here comes the drill. There it is. Yay, it's back. Okay. One job I still have to do yet is, uh, I gotta grind feed with calves yet, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the, the snowblower from this tractor or unhook the tractor from the snowblower whichever way you want to say it and take the chains off and then you know what's going to happen after I do that? I'm going to jinx the weather. We're going to get a snowstorm and then I'm going to regret that we took this all off. <laughs> I'm hoping that ain't going to it ain't going to be what's going to happen. Um, that would be a bad thing but I think the way the weather forecast is looking I don't think we're gonna get another snowstorm. I mean, my gosh, 
what is it, the first of April is next week, so. But then again, we have gotten snowstorms in April, but they melt pretty fast anyway, so. So I'm gonna get this tractor and hook from the snowboard, take the chains off, and um, grind the batch of feed and get done for the day. Well, I was just over there on hooking a snowblower and I walked in here to grab a, a twine string for something and this looks like a, this uh, one of these heifers had her at a calf. So getting her licked off, just must have had it a little bit ago. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, what do you know? So uh, yeah, I just need a try and string to tie up the PTO shaft on here. So then I'm gonna drive away and hook up the feed grinder and start grinding some feed. Okay, all done grinding the feed. Actually, I did grind. There was a little bit left in this gravity box here, so I ground the rest off of here. Because my cousin, he's gonna use this for, he's gonna use that to put his uh, oats on. He's gonna get some oats, seed oats from us. Then he'll pay us back with some more of his oats because he's got a whole bunch of oats and they're old oats. And he's gonna pay us back with that. So we'll just trade oats for oats and so anyways that's done um at least that track is freed up now so anyways i'll go finish up this video um with looking at the quick look at the grain drill and then uh, we'll be done okay guys um you can see the drills behind me here so i'm gonna show that to you and my brother both my brothers are feeding in the barn right now so I have my trusty portable light here. So yeah, um, I guess I'll have more on this later on, but I'll just quick do a run around with it to hear you with you. Um, obviously, we we're gonna get this power washed off. We didn't get it done today, obviously, but we'll get it done here, and uh, we're gonna give the drill a good looking over. Now I see this spot here where there's some mud. There's a few places where we gotta get mud out here. And uh, we'll give it a good looking over. We'll power wash it up, grease it up, and look it over here. We got another spot here, two of these. They got some mud in here, and part of this rubber peeled off here. So we're gonna have to try to get a new rubber somehow and put on there. I don't know how how you're supposed to do that. And we'll have to replace the wheel or something. But I guess. Um, it's not too bad um, I was able to move all those things can move the uh, the drill setting I was able to slide the shaft back and forth so so yeah so um, yep it looks it uh, it definitely isn't as nice is this other one that we saw on the uh, on the auction this online auction there was another one that was a lot nicer this one isn't bad it will look really nice once we uh once we get it all cleaned up and everything it won't look too bad but like I say we'll give it a good looking over and hopefully it'll be good and uh yeah so anyways i gotta get to some other stuff we got a fresh heifer we got a milk i get a calf in the calf barn and we got a lot to do here yet tonight before we finish up. So guys, so guys, thanks for being patient. Thanks for waiting. So now you know what it is. So this is going to be a project. Get this thing all ready to go. And this should save us a lot of time. A 30 foot drill. It's going to definitely be better than the drill we had. Way better than the drill we had. So yeah. 
so we'll get done hopefully sooner seeding small grain this year so anyways guys i gotta go so please don't forget to check my instagram and twitter at organic dairyman and uh thanks for watching and thanks for the subscriptions please don't forget to like rate comment and subscribe stay healthy stay 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 safe stay home if you can and at all costs and uh take care have a good night and i'll catch you later